What's up, punks? It's Shinobi, and this is Shy256, number 9. So, here we go again. Uh, I have been planning and working on, for a while now, a set of Shy256 videos going into the, the spats between Wasabi and Samurai and the actual underlying privacy issues and trying to take my time and do it as objectively as possible. Um, that is... That, that is except the objective part out the window now. I am starting with this video. I am freewheeling and building from here. So today, there was a big issue going around with a Binance user whose funds were frozen um, during a withdrawal. And there was mention of Wasabi and him withdrawing to Wasabi in past transactions as for the reason that he had his funds frozen. And they inquired why he was doing this. And since this news has dropped, all of the Samurai fanboys, even the Samurai developers have been encouraging and spreading this bullshit that this is because Wasabi reuses an address for fees. And that's the only reason that this was frozen, that if you would used Samurai or something else, this could have never happened. And this is an outright lie. This is objectively, factually incorrect. And the way they are spreading this narrative is intentionally just spreading bullshit for marketing. End of story. There is no factual basis to this. Now, to really explain why that is an objective fact, let's walk through what, what coin joins are. They are transactions collaboratively made between different parties, either using the exact same amounts in the outputs or differing amounts, but that are structured in a way to still create uh, plausible deniability between linking inputs and outputs. But th there are patterns to coin joins, distinct to each coin join protocol. Join market, the, the, the older one out of the three, is pretty much just a, a differing amount system that has differing size of participants, amounts, how long you remix, but the, these are patterns in, in the amounts used that can be pulled out and looking at the general flows through multiple rounds of mixing through coin join, identify that this is coin join through join market. It's not a, a samurai, it's not a wasabi, this is a join market coin join. Those fingerprints are there objectively, publicly on the blockchain, end of story. Wasabi's mixes, they specifically structure up to the, the 100 participant goal and go periodically in time intervals from there. Um, they originally started with the single denomination of outputs. They're all 0.1, nothing but 0.1. They've recently upgraded to differing amounts, but they're specific differing amounts. So before we get to the, the reused change address, they're right there alone is a unique fingerprint even without a reuse change address to identify objectively, no deniability, coin join through Wasabi. The exact same thing is true for Samurai. They have their transaction zero protocol that strips change and brings them into coin joins, small sets of five parties mixing fast over and over again. Those are all unique fingerprints objectively undeniably no deniability coin join through samurai every single coin join protocol that exists is fingerprintable and identifiable except for pay joins and the reason pay joins aren't is because the whole structure of it is limiting it to two participants and making it look like a normal transaction between people if you try that with bigger participant size coin joins, your only real anonymity set is businesses and exchanges. So good luck trying to blend in with that. And like this shit needs to stop. This is not 
some kind of honest critique between two different mixing protocols and strategies, looking at the, the weaknesses and strengths of each other, that there is no intellectual honesty here. This is lying. This is spreading objectively false narratives to benefit yourself. Marketing. End of story. The action that Binance took against this person is just as easily taken against coins that you withdrew and mixed with Join Market or Samurai or Wasabi. It does not matter. The fact that this was done with a Wasabi or a, a user who has a history of withdrawing to Wasabi, and that is the excuse, all that shows is whatever software or algorithm triggered him was looking for Wasabi. It says absolutely nothing about trying to do that with Join Market or Samurai being mysteriously impossible or more difficult somehow. It just says maybe they haven't implemented that algorithm yet. But it is just as trivially easy. This issue has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with any of these mixing protocols, how they're structured, why they're structured the way they are at all. This has to do with the fact that an exchange has decided to respond to seeing people using coin joins when they withdraw funds um, to freeze their funds and go, why are you doing this? This is entirely and solely about the centralized custodial entity that KYCs you and them reacting to what you're doing with stuff after or before you interact with them. No privacy technology at all can solve that problem, period. That issue is solely about the centralized business that demands your information and resets your privacy to zero just by virtue of interacting with them and how far they're going to fuck with you for trying to protect your privacy beyond your interactions with them. Privacy technology has nothing to do with that. Privacy technology can do nothing to fix that. The way to fix that is only interact with custodians who don't do shit like that or don't interact with them at all. Those are your options. And that, that first option might just dwindle away if this kind of thing becomes the norm for these types of businesses. That's just the reality. No matter what kind of privacy technology, coin join protocol, whatever you're using, it doesn't matter. If the business is going to act like this, they're going to act like this. You either go to a business that doesn't, or if there aren't businesses that, that don't do that, then just don't interact with those businesses. This has nothing to do with Wasabi or a flaw in Wasabi or Samurai or some superiority in Samurai at all. This is a disingenuous horseshit narrative being spread by samurai fanboys and samurai members themselves to benefit themselves through manipulative, factually incorrect marketing bullshit. End of story. So this is this was not where I was planning to start this this set of Shy256 videos on, but that's where I'm starting. And there will be more to come after this. But if, if you cannot step back and recognize the reality of this situation, you are not having an intellectually honest conversation. You are fanboying a brand and stupid enough to just give somebody who is being manipulative, disingenuous, and just wrong free advertising. And you're a fucking idiot. Adios, punks.